Okay, we'll get the same as the coach. What uh, questions will come from players first, though? Raise your hands and we'll get the coach after. That was a big win. I mean, Illinois is good. They're talented. Got multiple guys that are going to end up playing in the NBA. They, you know, they've got length everywhere. You know, they, they beat us on the board, so we, we got to get significantly better on the glass. But I thought our guys did a much better job defensively. You know, we had a few things we had to get cleaned up, and you know, I thought, thought we played pretty hard. I thought we had a group in there that closed close the game out. We played pretty well on defense, and you know, got got to the rim on offense. I, I, there was a lot, lots of positives. You know, we, we shot the ball well from some guys. I think Grant got confidence going obviously early. You know, Baron been playing really hard. You know, almost got triple double with 16, nine, and seven. But you know, I think. I think the ball moved a lot better. 23 assists, only seven turnovers was big. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of positives, but a lot, a lot of stuff to improve on still. Start on the right with Jim Dunaway. Grant, what does it say about this team that Mark Sears can have zero and you guys as a group can go over 100? Uh, I mean, I think it showed a lot of Mark's leadership tonight uh, in the huddle. He kind of subbed himself out just because, you know, he saw, saw guys were playing well and, you know, he, he knew guys could come in and our depth at, at the guard spot. Um, so, I mean, I, show, I think that shows a lot of leadership. And uh, I, mean, I think guards stepped up today. Biz and Baron uh, to help us get the win. Jack, yeah. Grant, you got fired, fired from three, got it going pretty quick. Uh, you know, how'd that feel just to, to see the lid kind of come off the rim, both for yourself and as a team after kind of struggling from three to start the year? Oh uh, man, I'm all, I owe it all to my teammates, uh, giving me confidence. We kind of knew how they were going to come out and guard me and some of the other fours and fives. Uh, so, I mean, my teammates just gave me confidence all week. And, I mean, just passed me the ball early, easy, got the ball out of their hands quick, and, I mean, it worked out for them. Nick Kelly. Yeah, question for LeBaron. I mean, when you as guards, again, when Mark's not playing as well, and then you and Patrell and Aiden are able to just build off each other. What, what's the key there for you guys to essentially build off each other? Um, first, of all, first of all, just playing off each other and, you know, just playing in the flow, being able to, you know, play both offense and defense. And, you know, you know, Mark wasn't on the floor, but his leadership was still there. You know, on the bench, he still cheered guys on, and, you know, try to put it in the right spots and put the chess pieces where they needed to be. And I think he did a, you know, great job at that. So I'm really proud of his leadership. And, you know, just, you know, Latrell and Biz, they, you know, really good shooters. But they really can get in the paint. And, you know, once they get in the paint, it's probably over for anybody in the country because them guys are so crafty, and I just be with them every day, and they be working on their game a lot. So we really trust them when they get in the paint. Up front, Joe Gaten. <laughs> for LeBaron, uh, is there any surprise for you the way that you uh, played over the first couple of games in college, and how would you describe really what you've been able to do? Um, really, just being in a moment. You know, as a young guy, you probably get a lot of you know nervous or you know just a lot of butterflies but you know I just try to stay calm in every moment and you know just confidence and once you get in the gym once you get on the court you know it's just all confidence then. LeBron, Joe Goodman. Right over here kind of playing off that question uh what's been the biggest reason I guess for you getting off such a strong start? <coughs> uh just guys putting their trust in me you know telling me where to you know where to be at at the right times and you know what plays to make at the right time don't try to you know be a hero and just just make the right plays every possession and you know i just try to go out and win every possession and it just leads to me playing very good and very hard yeah lebaron when grant's having the kind of shooting game that he is how much does that open up the lane for you as a driver whenever the defense has to respect that shot uh, it opens us a lot because we already knew that the game plan coming in, they were going to try to help off of them. So we told them, you know, you just get an open look, just shoot it. You, you know, we don't care. We're going to try to crash, crash the glass. You know, if you miss, we're going to try to go at the boards. But, you know, he wasn't missing tonight, so that was very good. A few more for the players, Jay. Great. Talk about the crowd tonight. Obviously not in Coleman, but I'd like to see a lot of Bama fans here. Just talk about them tonight. Yeah, I thought that helped us a lot get this win. Um, First half, second half, they're there the whole time. Um, I mean, so it's great to see when we're not at home. Uh, just great to have our fans uh, just all around the state of Alabama. Last one for the players, Tyga. Uh, LeBaron coach did say earlier this week that Aiden Jolie 
kind of took a different approach to practice. What have maybe you seen from him in practice that kind of translated into the game tonight? Um, just being locked in, you know, being being able to buy in and just listen, you know, being a great listener and just learning, you know, we all are still learning because we, you know, we all knew, like we knew to the system. So, you know, we just try to take everything from the older guys and see what they doing, you know, and just put it into our game and it's been going very well. Thank you, LeBaron. Thanks, Greg. Thank you. Start over there with Michael. Razor, keep your hands up, please. Nate. Grant kind of described some of the situation with Mark. Is that how you saw it with him uh, coming out of the game? And uh, he, I don't think he played for the final 11 and a half minutes. Yeah, I, he, uh, he was great on the bench. I mean, he just he was struggling. You know, there's a lot of pressure on him, obviously. Being, Home state kid that came back to preseason player of the year. You know, he's, he's trying to do well. Teams are gearing their defense towards him. You know, he had some good looks tonight. They just didn't go. But, you know, I, I you know, he, I, I, try, I took him out, kind of let him get his head, head together a little bit, and I, I tried to put him back in. He just said, look, they're playing well. I'll be honest with you, it's similar to like Herb Jones has done it before. Some, we've had some really good players here that have just kind of been unselfish enough and want to win bad enough to just say, hey, let, let the guys go. They're playing really well. Leave them in. So uh, that's what I did. So I, I tried to put him back in in the middle of that 11 minutes, but he uh, had a timeout. He just he just said, leave these guys in. They were playing pretty well. He was right, so we left them in. They went on a run and won it. I'm sure he'll bounce back and be pretty good against Houston. Front, right up. Uh, Coach, close to 40 points off the bench tonight. What does that say about the depth and the rotation that you guys were able to execute tonight? Yeah, I mean, obviously Holloway shooting it like he did helps a lot with uh, with the bench. You know, I think Terry and Aiden Sherrell kind of showed what they're capable of. You know, once they're starting to both get a little more comfortable. You know, Tiobate threw in another three for us. And, you know, I think Jaron's got a huge uh, jump he can still make this year. So, uh, you know, we're deep. Everybody knew we were deep. But we needed the bench tonight, you know, with you know how Mark maybe struggled shooting it a little bit, so you know how we came in helped us out a little bit. So I th thought it was big. I mean, I think our bench will probably give us pretty pretty good production most of the year because there's going to be some, quite a few guys that would be starting in most places coming off the bench. So we'll, we'll get pretty good bench production, I would guess, most of the year. Nick Kelly. Yeah, Nate. Uh, another game where Cliff got in foul trouble, but obviously when he's in, I mean, makes some really big plays, uh, a couple dunks late. Um, what do you guys need to do to help him to maybe not be in that position as much? Yeah, I, I mean, he's, he's got, he picks up some silly ones, you know, where he gets out of position and kind of comes in uh, late. So we got to we gotta keep working with him on some of that. You know, be, him being in a drop like we've got him in, you know, he, he didn't really play like that at, at Rutgers. So he's just got to continue to get better. I thought we, we've seen him get better and better in a drop. I think when Grant went to the five and – Kind of got in the drop, you know, he had a black shot. I think he'd done a little more. As you can see, he's a little more experienced with it. So we, we just got to keep working with him on that. And then, you know, keep working. But it, like you said, I mean, he was plus 14 when he was in the game. He played 15 minutes. We were plus 14 with him in there. So we got to try to keep him out of foul trouble so we can keep him in the game a little bit longer. Jack. <laughs> we talked about wanting to see a response after the Purdue game to, you know, to see this team, how they responded to their first loss. What did you see from that tonight? And how big is, is a response like this from a confidence standpoint moving forward? Oh, I think it's big. We need to play against a high major team, a good one, a top 25 team, and be able to get a win. And I, I didn't even think we played great in a lot of areas. I mean, look at the offensive rebounds we gave up. You know, we, we didn't shoot it particularly well from some of our better shooters. And, you know, we were still able to score 100 points. So. We, we did take care of the ball a lot better, and I thought our defense improved. So I think we need to continue to see little things improve and do well and just keep building on it. Just Houston's obviously really tough, really good, giving up 14 old boards. And Illinois is very good. They got length everywhere. They go to the old boards. They're one of the better rebounding teams in the country, but they're, they're not at the same level as Houston's going to be on the offensive glass. So we're, we're going to have to really pick it up on our defensive Rebounding that you know Purdue kind of got to us there. Illinois got to us, so we're gonna have to make huge point emphasis on that going going forward. On the right coach with Joe Goodman, hey, are you surprised LeBaron is this far along? Uh, you know what? From from what I thought when we go back to last spring when he um, 
opened his recruitment up and we took him, yes, I'm surprised from then. But if you'd asked me after the summer, after watching what he did, June, July, August, like he's, he came in and established himself as one of the best guards in the program right out of the gate in the month of June. So I think he, he came in competing. I mean, he had the right mindset coming in though. Like when, when he opened his recruitment up, he kind of made the point, I think one of his statements might have been, you know, if I'm not going to play much, because Kansas took a lot of transfer guards, that's where he'd sign. If I'm not going to play much, I'd, ra I'd rather be home in Alabama, at Alabama, you know, if I'm not going to play much. Well, I, I just said, look, just come in and work hard. We'll see what you can earn. So he kind of just came in, like, expecting nothing, had to earn everything. And when you feel like you got to earn everything, that's when I think you start playing your best. So that's why we don't ever promise anybody minutes starting spots, anything around here. I think you make everybody come in and earn it. And you also you get guys like LeBaron that blossom and he's kind of earned it from summer, fall practice. He's, he's one of our hardest competitors in practice every day. He's, you know, he's winning the blue collar in practice. He won the blue uh, hard hat tonight. I mean, he just makes a bunch of tough plays and just loses himself in the game. I don't think he's worried about how many points he scores, about how many times he touches it, how many minutes he's played, just if he's in. He's playing hard, playing the right way, and it shows. Dunaway, is this what you envisioned when Aiden Holloway became available, and how did he speed up the offense tonight as opposed to at Purdue? Yeah, I, we didn't play fast enough against Purdue. I, one of the clips that we did play fast enough was him. He got down the score to layup. So we just said we want to keep the pace going. You know, I think it's easier to play fast when you got three of those four guards in. So, you know, he, uh, I thought he pushed the pace tonight. Uh, he's super skilled. I mean. He's as good a shooter as I've ever coached. So the fact that he went three or four from three is not, not really that shocking. I'd venture to say he's going to have plenty of other games where he goes three or four, four or five, five or six. So who knows? He, he can he can shoot it, and his pace is good. His skill level is high. And he's got a good finishing package in the lane. He, he's good. So I, I don't know that I would say I envision this because I, I, we knew he was really good coming out of high school. I think maybe, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit to adjust and – you know, in college or whatever. He definitely had some good games at Auburn, but, you know, uh, we thought he could be more like what he was coming out of high school, and I think that's what you saw tonight. Blake. Illinois had a couple 6 0, 7 0 run punches in the second half. Just how would you assess your team's ability to respond to those and still keep the double digit lead? Yeah, I, I think it cut it to uh, eight at one point, if I remember right. I think maybe we had a 14 point lead. I, I, uh, my, could be wrong. Maybe they, they cut it even lower than that. Uh, I think maybe eight was where it got. So, uh, you know, we were up 18 at one point in the first half. I think we were up maybe 17 in the second half, I remember at some point. They cut it to eight. I think that's when I called the timeout. I thought we, we came out of the timeout, played pretty well. I think we went on a 7 0 run after the timeout. So I think, and it started with some defense. We got some transition buckets off our defense. And then, you know, they made some tough shots. I, I thought we did a better job keeping them off. They ended with 14 old boards. They had 13 with about 12 minutes to go in the game. So, you know, we kept talking about making sure they didn't get any old boards. They got the one there late. I think Will Riley got it, if I remember right. But other than that, I thought we did a better job keeping them off the glass. You know, and they're going to make some tough shots. You know, sometimes basketball is a game of runs, but you got to make them keep taking tough shots. Don't give up old boards. Nothing easy. And then we just had to make sure we had some better Shots on our end. We we got to do a better job getting the offensive boards and get some easy easy looks too. Last one, Joe Gaither. <clears throat> Coach, yesterday you talked about getting Aiden Terrell more minutes. Uh, what did you see out of, out of his actions tonight? Yeah, I thought he was good. I mean, he, uh, you know, we wanted to shoot the ball with confidence. He finally got him to drop a three. We've seen him shoot well in practice. I thought he had a he had a nice uh, lob he caught. You know, he, he played pretty physical. He had some rebounds, so a lot 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 more like what I, we thought we'd have got. You know, and I got him more minutes, so. You know, I thought he deserved more minutes. I thought he, I should have played him more at Purdue, to be honest with you. But, uh, you know, he played he played a lot better for us tonight. You know, for him to be plus eight in this nine minutes was, was pretty good. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.